All right, here so we here we are coming into what this one is now the ninth race of the season. Only Italy, Singapore, Japan, <laughs> USA, Mexico, and Brazil left in this Division Two season. Right now, JDR has a commanding one race lead in the championship, leading El Susio Dan by 26 points, 156 to 130, if I'm not mistaken. So that's the big championship contest that we are looking at today. Yes, 156 for JD, 130 for El Susio Dan. And JD actually has, uh, has won three times in a row. Yeah, previously, uh, it definitely feels like uh, the momentum switched uh, between Canada and Austria because before then, uh, any race where the both of them finished, El Susio Dan was able to take it. But JDR has been able to have some very good results. And there have been some extenuating circumstances there, but he's definitely starting to put in a major challenge that Dan has to really start responding to right now or it's going to be too late and he's going to be relying on JDR to make mistakes. And what we've seen is that JDR is not super prone to making race-ending costly mistakes. Yeah. Also, I noticed that JT actually, out of those three wins, he got fastest lap in two of them. So that's 26 instead of 25 points for him. And if we look at the uh, constructors, JD with uh, Dubman and Alfram on the top of 164. Renault, the Renault team, who is third and fourth in the uh, championship standings with 159 points. And then the Haas team with 141. So pretty tight when it comes to constructors, I'd say. Indeed. And uh, we've also got some exciting contests going on further down. Uh, while there's a bit of a step away from the top two of JDR and Bruno, you've got Brogain and Krith and uh, Raro and Balzac. And honestly, we could throw Red Baron in there. We're all between 83 and 59 points. All of them have been getting some very nice results in the last little while. Indeed, Red Baron had a really fantastic race in Belgium, didn't he, two weeks ago? Yeah, he did, I'm pretty sure. So, <laughs> yeah, he was leading he so much of the way. I'm not sure what to call him. I think he He's said PLL, PLL is fine. He is yeah. PLL. Double checked with him last week. So Garrett is the uh, first person I I believe to uh, to go ahead and actually start a lap time. So I'm on board with him. Yeah, and a shout out to Clark Muller in the chat who is here as a Gert fan. <laughs> Taking it very cautious. 30 second asses. Honestly, smart to set a set a careful banker lap. The track's going to get faster, but you really don't want to end up in a you know completely out of place qualifying just because you keep on throwing away laps trying to be a hero in every single lap that you do. Yeah, so already somebody behind him went faster in sector one. Ooh, a bit of trouble through the Ascari. But doesn't lose it, keeps the lap. Also, I'll note El Susia Dan going out on mediums, everyone else setting their times on softs. Yeah, uh, for this track it is a pretty easy one stop. Even softs to mediums or mediums to softs. 122 for uh, Gert. And let's see if the Renault of Takumi to go faster. 120.2. Yeah. That's the new mark to beat. And then Alcicio Dan. Only half, half a second of a off second that. slower. So that's not too yeah. bad. Although, uh, if I'm not mistaken, Takumi, uh, this is uh, his very first race with us. Yes, very first race. So we really don't know where Takumi fits in the uh, in the order here. So that's going to be interesting to see where the others come through. Pat Lassard, 7 tenths off. And Red Baron with a nice lap time there goes P2. Takumi still on pole. Let's see what Raro can do. Indeed, yeah. Purple Sector 1, if this, uh, if this overlay is uh, on the mind, it was not purple, it was bugged out. 
So 121, 22, 22.1, 22.4, excuse me. Well, not to lap the Puts in P6. And Prestige on Nameless Nade, looks like they're uh... Are they? Oh, well, Ooh, if there was yeah. going to be some Ferrari teamwork there, that was probably not what they were intending. Yeah, I think... I think... Uh, they were both on a hot clap. Well, that was unfortunate for, G, uh, for Prestige then, but Nameless Nate through the second Lesmo, and coming down to Seraglio and Variante Scary up ahead. Underneath the old oval. Oh, hey, it looks like we've got one of two Brax brothers. Alright, he's through Scary. And now only the Parabolica remaining. Lucky Moose, uh, shouting his advice from the stands. Hey there, Lucky Moose. And here we go, Nameless Nate setting his lap, and he goes P6 with a 120.9. Not bad, not bad. And Prestige, JD. apparently, Prestige's lap wasn't disallowed, despite going extremely wide in very anti -Rogia. If you take it very slow, and actually slow down, it, it won't give you a warning or a penalty, or even invalidate your lap. So it all depends how fast you actually go off the track. So critically, JDR is sitting his first lap here, and this is this has to be our favorite for pole position. Would you agree? Or do you think Dan's got it to uh, to take pole here? No, well, it's uh, hard to say. Critically, at this, uh, at this stage, El Susio Dan seemingly giving up on the uh, qualifying on medium strategy. He's going to be wanting to start in front, and he's looking like he's going to go for the soft. Into a scary. let's see the speed he can hold. Right on the line there. I'm never sure where exactly the limit is for where the game will allow you to go wide on the exit of Scary. It's uh the uh, the truck limit there is it is kind of tricky. Oh. JDR because... abandoning his lap. Because on the exit of it, you can go out wide, but as you as you go forward, you have to get on track ASAP. Because the yeah, the track limit's actually tight in there. PL puts it P1. There you go. First person to be able 19. to 19.9. Sector one and sector and sector three. Purple for him. And here comes El Susio Dan. He's got a 120.7 on the mediums, but he looks like he's going to be trying to set a faster lap on the softs. Riding on board with one of our two main championship challengers. A little bit of a lockup as he comes into Redophilia. His car is definitely set up in a way to handle bumps really good. Judging from how, how much curb he took there in the first chicane. Goes purple sector one. Almost half a tenth uh, faster than PL. And through Velesmos, a little bit of a slide, but he's good. Nicely using as much of the track as he can get away with here. Now coming down through Soraglio. And so much on this track comes down to how much speed you can carry through the Ascari. Yeah. So he's already four tenths up on PLL's time. Purple sector too as well. Well, this is going to definitely look like a, uh, a threatening pull lap here, but how far ahead is he going to be able to pull it? And what's JDR going to do in response? Let's see what kind of time it's going to be. 19.4. That's half Three. a second. Pretty pretty good pretty good lap time. I'm 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 assuming that they don't really have a lot of grip, judging from how many shadows there is and that it's early morning. I'm, I'm guessing. Armaker so. coming around here, and let's see what he can do if he can improve on this 22 flat. 
There we go. Irma Gert takes a second and a half off, and he is up to 120.8, and that puts him into the top 10, just behind Bricklob. So Kenny, first race with us in the pink Mercedes, as I like to call it. 117, 18, 19, 6, and does a purple sector 3. So, uh, looks like he is gonna be one of the uh, top contenders here. And JD goes out on the mediums with 7 minutes left. Interesting. Now that El Susio Dent has committed to the softs, could JDR be going for the. Okay, fine, I'll see if I can qualify, you know? In the top. Um, five. But he invalidates. Oh no. He in Into the second chicane, he uh, used too much curve and invalidated the lap, so. Well, things are going to get a little bit tight because previously JDR has been, you know, bulletproof in the qualifying, and it's been El Susio Dan who's had to deal with some bad qualifying situations. But with the the nice banker lap that he's put in, it looks unlikely that any of the others are going to be able to challenge him. So it really comes down to JDR to really send it through Ascari and see if he can do something about Dan. Otherwise, Dan's going to have a full position. That said, this is Monza. It's a, it's a place with some very powerful DRS and a lot of potential for overtaking some very long straights and some extremely hard braking. So Red Baron actually goes purple sector too. So I think the track is improving a lot as, as the time goes by. And goes P5 20.1. Which is weird because uh, he didn't improve sector 1, he didn't improve sector 3, but I got, got a purple sector too. So that's something, you know. Certainly. That's Uraro. Pretty sure that's uh, that's an end lap. Looks like it. Brother John. Uh, hang on. I'm trying to figure out if this is a uh, hot lap again or if he's uh, running an extended stint on mediums. I think this is uh this is Brother Jones trying to see if he can get into the top ten with mediums. Of course, no real point of qualifying outside of the top ten on mediums because everyone from eleven back will have a free choice of tires. So uh, PLL, purple sector one. The lab looks pretty solid so far, showing a lot of apex speed. And there's certainly not that much of a gap between the uh, the top five right now. Oh yeah, I mean. At this point, anybody could take it. Certainly so. To be three tenths up on uh, Asusio Dance. Oh, oh, but he misses the Ascari. Oh, that's that's going to be costly. Yep. That's not it was a purple to sector too as well. Anymore. Well, there we go. Definitely, uh, as as has been suggested, uh, sending it in. But it's it's so hard. It is it is not easy to get that maximized lap, and he is immediately. Backing out of this one, gonna go in for some fresh tires, see if he can make another shot for pole position. So JD is still in the pits. So uh, he's probably gonna go for that one shot here. Hopefully, uh, hoping that he'll make a good lap time in just one shot. Prestige and oh, Magnus, no. both coming through. Uh, doing the traditional Ferrari strategy of the toe, although they're a little bit far away from each other for that. So nameless Nate in P5. Solid position for him. Nameless Nate has had a had and a bit Takumi of a tough puts it P2 with a 19.5 and a purple sector too. So I think yeah. there's still a lot of time that these guys can improve on. Only 600 hundredths away from pole position. So Rogaine is gonna start his lap just now. And if I'm not mistaken, Rara is also now on an out lap. So expect to see uh, currently 4th position Rara trying to make something. <laughs> Rogan just took the uh, the first chicane like the esports guys do. Literally just cut the end uh, the first curb in uh, in a half. The game certainly half. is a little bit odd about what it lets you get away with. So he's uh, tenth slower than Dan. 
Still, qualifying in 8th place right now, he's definitely going to want to be higher up, so if he's just a little bit off the den, I think he could be quite proud of that. Oh yeah. A tenth oh, if a he keeps the pace. I was gonna put in like P2, P3. So well. four tenths down on dance time. He know he definitely knows the line. Cause I uh, he takes it like the esports guys do. He's just not as quick as them obviously. But, There's only uh, a few people in the world that can do that. Yes. Raro taking a very aggressive line into the first Lesma. So Rogan in P5 finishes his lap with a 19.8. So there's nice. only four tenths in in between uh, Rogan and uh, Al Susia Dan. Well, for that matter, the entirety of the top ten are within one second of pole position right now. So I think pole's very much still up for the taking here. Raro coming into the final corner here as he straightens it out, getting all the power delivery he can possibly get away with. Is he, he goes into I, the pits. I, that's very odd. Probably you just yeah, decided he, to abandon the lap. If I'm not mistaken. Huh. Yeah, that is strange. I'd have to so guess PLL. that he must have been a tenth off or something. Yeah, so PLL. Didn't improve in sector one, but I'm I'm curious to see what sector two is he gonna do. And what can he um, do for Ascari here? Oh, he's two seconds up. Never mind. Yeah, this is not going to be a. This is not going. But to JD be a, a lap. starting his only lap in this session. So this is it. All eyes. And Alsusio then actually improved by a tenth, puts in a 19.3. Let's oh. see if uh, JD can can go faster than that. So purple sector one already half a tenth faster than also and JD Ooh, just invalidated a, that the lap. Is disastrous for JDR. He is going to start last. Why? Oh my goodness! You just feel so bad for him not having him put in a banker. He could have very easily gotten a high position there, but well, sometimes you play with fire. You know, sometimes you have to take the risk, and this risk didn't pay off. So this is what happened. Yeah, he was always just so aggressive through Vianti Raggia. And I mean you need to you need to be pretty aggressive and cut that corner a little bit. Is he going is he going to try and set one more lap here? I don't think he can. I think that the uh checker flags out. Uh if our timer is is correct, then yeah. But I, I usually it's I, a it's a, a minute actually, off. So you know what a JDR I think JDR may have one more lap. He was saving fuel there. He's gonna see what he can get here. Since yep, yeah, he's so it looks like he's got one more lap. lap. So I'm on board with him. But you know this this puts him at a disadvantage, a big yeah, one I, I'd pressure. say. Well, let let's see. You know, uh, does does he crack or is he a diamond today? Ooh, and PLL fastest lap 19.1 oh, takes big. the pole. Goodness, we were so focused on JDR, we didn't have an eye on PLL, who is set a yeah. really good lap. That's really, you know, putting his stamp on this race. JDR, nice and cautious through Raji, does not want to get this lap disallowed. He knows what the consequences would be. Starting 14th, you're in the crowd, you're far back. Not only does everyone else have a time advantage on you, but you're also, oh, car up ahead. I'm gonna get out of the way, Brother John. Brother John. Considerately letting him through before the corner. So he's uh, all he's matching PLL's time. I'm seeing almost exactly the same same time as PLL. And so that it looks was like the he last might take. Corner. Yeah, looks like JDR. he's gonna take uh, either P1 or P2. Well, let's see what he can do as he comes through the parabolica, full power delivery now. And what can he and get? And he snatches the car. Oh. oh my goodness, talk Not even about a tenth. victory from the jaws of defeat. JDR with a excellent performance under pressure, knowing that he couldn't make any mistakes and still able to set the fastest lap. 
But you know, his his tires are two laps old. That is going to be difficult, but that's not that uh, unrecoverable situation to be in. Yeah, but that puts him uh, at a disadvantage for sure. And uh, the championship contender, Susie then uh, is definitely going to try to, you know, take advantage of that. And uh, in the end, no one qualified on the medium tire. It's everyone on the soft, so we're going to have very similar strategies from uh, from everyone in the top 10, most likely. Uh, but we could have Pat Lassar, Brother John, Bricklock, and Irma Gert all seeing what they can do here. They could potentially do some very interesting things, and let's take a look through the qualifying. So, uh, you want to do podium predictions now? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know what? I'm, I've been really impressed with Takumi. Uh, he just came in. Don't know anything about him, but he really uh, made himself noticed right away. I'm going to say... Well, also P2. This is just his second race. And he was very impressive last time around in Belgium, and it was just some, you know, some bad luck partway through a very strange race. Uh, so it's either him or Takumi for third, I think. I know, I'm going to go with JDR, Dan, and P2. But honestly, uh, Takumi for P3 could be a shout. I'm going to go with Alcicio, Dan, and P1. JD in P2, and uh, PL in third. All right, well, to make us different, I'll go with Takumi then. <laughs> you're, you're, okay. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're judging, you know, from, from... It's hard to judge, you know, stuff like this just from quality pace. Cause it certainly is. People... I know people have insane qualifying pace, but they lack the, ra the, ra the race pace. They, have, they don't have the, the pace during the race. Oh, someone has already hit go to session. Ooh, yeah. It's, well, it was Takumi, actually, a new guy. Oh, dear. Yeah, yeah. that's uh, that's one of the things. It's uh, important when you join the league that everyone has the time to set their strategy. But, well, this is going to be the start of our race. So, uh, let's yeah. see what this uh, brings about. The ninth race of the uh, 2020 Division 2 Season number 2 of Formula Racing League begins now. I'm going to stay lights. with the front here. JD gets a good start, and so does Alcicio Dan. PL back into P3 already. All of position changes. Let's see if there's going to be carnage. Right Dan's going to make a move up to the inside. He here sticks his nose That's in there. Oh, and he makes it on the... Bit. And oh, JD goodness, just JDR's stunned. knocked off. JDR's going to have to push... Ooh. He's just going to bash his way through. Oh my goodness. All that... I wonder if there was contact. Him. It I'm pretty sure close, but we'll have to see. Yeah, Look, from my perspective, it looked like JD just slightly tapped him, and that just spun him around. And Raro is gonna defend from Takumi, who is in P6. Yeah, it's been a so I'll just see Dan with that with already a 1.2 second gap to PLL, and got this big train. Ooh, this is gonna be a, a really good race, I think. This is going to be, oh my goodness, yeah, and it, it's been a rough start for Takumi, down a couple of positions, but I think he's he's looking, he's got the potential to take this position very quickly, he's got a nice exit, and he's got a big draft, although no DRS yet. So, looking at the uh, the losers and the winners of Lapon, ooh, and there's a oh, wink piece from Red Baron's from Red car? Red Baron. Yes, it is, he's uh, missing an end plane, I believe. Oh my goodness, is Takumi going to pass three people at once? <laughs> it's four wide here. Oh my goodness. This guy is really crazy. Raro, P2, and Red Baron. Side by so side. So Takumi... Ooh, and he gets pushed wide by uh, PLL. Oh my goodness. And Raro... What so a front race. Raro took two positions right now, I think, into P3. Uh, this well, is so crazy, really and PL is gonna fight out. back. He's gonna take the inside line here. And well, he gets his elbows out. 
JDR fighting his way back. He's uh, he's back up to 14th place, and he's now chasing down Ian. Doesn't appear to be any damage on him, so he's going to be looking to recover here. But this really, really shakes up the race. Is he going to go for a different strategy? Is he going to go for an early stop on the hards, perhaps? Or is the hard tire just so slow that you wouldn't want to do it? This is so crazy. We have such a big train from P4 to like P8 or even P10. These guys are really, really close to each other right now. Prestige is right on Nameless Nate's tail here. Yeah, I see that, yeah. I'm on board with uh, Prestige right now. But if we've seen anything from this last lap, I want to see what Takumi does in the straights here. He's got such yeah. a draft. Riding right on the back of Prestige. He's not expending that much ERS though, he's just uh, playing it safe. Prestige threw up the inside of Nameless Nate. Ooh, a little bit of a my bump god, with and sense on Red Baron as well. And that opens up the door for Nameless Nate to make his way through up into P6. Meanwhile, Takumi gets passed on Prestige. And now, and he might even more, get Nameless Nate looking a little unstable here. And now, Takumi right behind Red Baron. Where is he going to break? And into the Rochia. Takumi is up to P7 ahead of Nameless Nate. What a race we're having here. Out in the front, meme. Oh, goodness. Contact from Prestige onto Nameless Nate. And Prestige goes, wait, wait, so does Brother John. And Prestige is sideways. He's going He's to have to got a yellow flag and Prestige through. is all the way down. And so is Brother oh, John. Oh, no. Oh, that's so unfortunate. And did, did Brother John get collected by somebody? No, he, I, it looks like he just lost control. Uh, on, oh no! Oh, Brother John <sighs> is out of the race. Oh, and that, is, that should be a safety car, I think. It could be. Oh, that's... You hate to see it. You really hate to see it. It's a Sector 2 yellow flag, and now it's a Virtual VS. safety car. Virtual safety car is sent out. Is anyone going to take this opportunity to pit? Let's look for damage. You know, so Red Baron, yeah, he There's is one. pinning. But Red Baron had uh, had the front wing damage, so that's understandable. Oh, I see Pat is in the pits. Penalty speeding in the pit lane. That's that's unfortunate for him. So I know for a fact that th this race is possible to do the uh, the whole 27 laps on hards. It is possible because esports guys did it. It is really hard on tires. You have to manage the tire oh, really P2. good. Sorry for the interruption there, Cup, but P2 has just gotten the penalty for speeding under the safety car. I think he misjudged the end of the safety car just by a little bit. And so that's, that's a drive through for him. That is harsh. Uh, but that's that's the virtual safety car for you. Uh, it's. Uh, it's a challenging thing to deal with. So this has actually spread things out just a little bit, but we've got JDR right on the back of Luke Brax now. And that is the closest battle that we've got on field right now, as the two come into the Ascari. Oh, goodness, what was oh, that? Go some grass, did you see that? I saw that, I was on board with him just as it happened. <laughs> yeah. My goodness, JTR, what are you doing, sir? I think that was his cat or some something on in front of, in front of his monitor. We'll have to ask sure. him about that, but he's got a run on Luke Brax here, a run and a half as he comes through past the Mercedes and he is comfortably up into ninth position. Ooh, and McLaren overshoots the uh, turn one, and Nameless Thing gets the position back, and JD is gonna get a run on him too. Yeah, that was a. Uh... Yeah, well, he goes around the outside, there. easy overtake. Nothing here he can go. do. And maybe well, we'll even see. Luke is Irma gonna Gert send it on him. A little bit of delivery here. Yeah, Luke Brax might try to take advantage of this. Luke is in the Mercedes for some reason. Well, uh, he wasn't able to be here for the start, so I imagine that it was probably him getting put into a random vehicle. Yeah, uh, well, yeah, that's probably I've, what happened. I've, I've we got this battle for like what P P seven, and JD passes through, and so does uh, the McLaren, and Just so does the uh, Luke Brax. Ooh, when well, nameless thing has to be really cautious here, not to hit anybody. So nameless oh, thing. Ooh, and a moment for him. 
Certainly, and this is going to open up an opportunity for Bricklot to try and make a move for the points. P2 just has the fastest lap. Yeah, with the fastest lap, 122.1. And Brick is through on Nameless Nate. Nate just having a really difficult time right now. Meanwhile, Brogain right on the back of Graro as they come into the Rotophila. I think Nameless Snade is, uh, he tried overtaking uh, Brick back into turn 1, but didn't make it stick. But Kali, they are close, Cub, they are close. Although that actually just slipping off there. Nate seems to be having some kind of, like, handling issue here. Goodness, the fishtailing is just... Uh, well, this is this is opening up an opportunity for Ian Brax behind him to start closing in the gap. And meanwhile, uh, Luke Brax is looking to do to Ermagert what JDR was able to do in the previous lap. He's coming through, side by side, and through. There's going to be... is there... no, no, Ermagert says, I'm going to hold on to my position, thank you, I'm just going to let this go on. I'm, pre on I'm pretty race. sure he's going to get him back on, on the uh, main straight here. I'm gonna go on board with Rogan because he's gonna get a DRS on Raro. Uh, there's a pit stop from P2. P2 is going to ORC, serving his penalty now. Yeah, that's his drive-through penalty for P2. He's serving it right now. And where's he yes, going he to has... drop him? I think yeah, he has three him. laps, I believe, to serve it. Yeah, it puts him into One. P12 between Nameless Nate and Prestige. Oh, and there's a bit of a moment. Uh, Ian Brax makes his way through on Nameless Nate. And now it's going to be P2 coming up on Nate next. Meanwhile, yeah, okay. so the field kind of spread out right now. It's not as chaotic as it was uh, lap 2. Although we but are seeing I wanna, We've got a couple I wanna of guys point in out position. Yes. That Kenny is, has kept that two second gap to Alsusia Dan, meaning that he is running somewhat the same pace, I would say, as Alsusia Dan. Has. And I have to say, you know, credit to the one guy who we didn't predict for a, for a, for a podium on their first race with FRL. Uh, of the people we predicted, of, uh, of P2, uh, PLL in his second race, of uh, Takumi in his first, and Kenny in his first. Uh, and Prestige Kenny, like just got a three second time penalty. Rogaine, he's got to run on Raro for P3 here. And around the outside, Raro simply can't do much against the DRS, the full uh, the full deployment. And they're both cleanly into the first chicane. And Rogaine looks like he has comfortably grabbed third position. And you know what? It's, it's always risky to write off Rogaine. He's been very, very consistent. He's had two tough races in Britain and Belgium recently. And PL is into uh, P11. Overtook. Ooh, Elsa Shadan! Yes! Oh, critical a moment here for Raro. He gets back through on Rogaine as Rogaine has a moment going through Variante Roche. But now Rogaine is going to try and take this back. I think he's got the pace, but Raro has but been he's able to. He's got here. There's a DRS oh, zone. Goodness. Around the outside, and there's not much Raro can do against that pace. It just, you know, how. It just shows you how. How powerful, powerful DRS can be. It certainly is. This is on this a is on a track that's actually very low downforce. Kenny from a 2.2 second gap to 1.9, and on Sister then got a penalty. Yeah, and that is that is critical because that means that functionally Kenny is and oh, sector that's three. Nameless Nate is out. Oh dear. Lost on the exit of Ascari. Let's see, is this going to be a safety car? Because we're getting into a point where this this could be the, the pit stop if they call a safety yes. car. The car is in the wall. I'm not sure there how he is. lost it. Well, it's not hard to lose it in many ways through Ascari, but the car is cleared out of the way and there is no safety car to come. Nameless Nate and Papa John both out of the race. 14 drivers remain. Meanwhile, we've got a fight. Bricklot and Ermagerd. I think Bricklot has just gotten past, but Ermagerd is going to try and make a move around the outside. 
and he holds position, and Ermagert takes it. Ooh, a but bit he overshoots the corner. The... That keeps the position. Yeah, there's just no way for Brick to take it around with the line that Ermagert took through there. And now they come into the first Lesmo. And second, but is Ermagert going to have the uh, the stored energy to to break away here and defend himself against two very powerful DRS zones? There's also a battle brewing for third position. Rogan yeah, I see that Robert Takumi Takumi. is uh, coming up on Rara. So Brick is getting really close to McLaren in front. Gonna have, he's going to have a run on him here. Although Ermagert has a hundred percent. He's already, he overtake is on. The overtake he's is gonna make on, that pass. Sir. And I see that Ian is into, into the pits. Yep, easy overtake. Like, the McLaren can't do anything against that. Yeah, the DRS. But if Brick really compromises his line here, then Ermagert... Which he oh, just did. Goodness. Is that damage? Let's have a look at the external cameras. It looks like both of his end plates are still intact. Meanwhile, uh, PLL is in ninth place and he like JDR is very much out of position right now so thus far uh, of those who have made pit stops JDR is in the lead uh, in, uh, in tenth place so he's not on the same strategy as, as PLL right now meanwhile PLL looking at Ermagert and I think, am I going to throw a move here? No, I think I'm going to wait, which is probably wise, taking advantage of the DRS when it comes. And he's got both Bricklot and Armagurt in his sights. So, Rogaine is the uh, the first one to pit from the uh, Renault team, and Takumi has a DRS on Raro, so he's gonna keep that pressure on. And PLL this lap is really pit. crucial for uh, yep. Raro, because I'm assuming he's going to pit Ermagert this lap. making a move, and he is back ahead. Another, this this is such an engaging duel between Bricklot and Ermagert. They're just trading, neither of them able to pull away from the DRS range, and then the other just swings that lasso and pulls him back in. So Takumi actually right behind Raro. He's probably gonna yeah. go for an overtake here in the DRS zone before Ascari. Yeah, what do you think? Is Raro gonna go tight defensive? No, he takes the outside line, which leaves the inside wide open for Takumi Fujiwara, who takes the line. A little bit of a cut there, but it looks like he's gotten away with it. And there we go, through Ascari, Takumi moves up into third place between El Susiodan, sorry, behind El Susiodan and Kenny LaFleur. And Again, we need to point out Kenny LaFire is functionally P1 with penalties applied right now. Yes. Both in the pits, P1, P2. Takumi in the pits, and so is Raro. Well, and now, go. question is, where is Rogan gonna come out? Because that's the person we should be looking at right now. Where is he going to come out? In front of Raro, behind? And critically, Rogan has JDR right on his uh, on his tail right now. So we're gonna see a lot of action here just in the next few moments. Takumi, he's so it looks got like his partisans in Rogan the chat. is gonna come out in front of Takumi and Raro. And JD in P5. Well, there we go. JD has been able to get his way back up after having that disastrous first corner and now well, we're going to we're going to get to see a bit of a fight here because we've got Rogan, JDR, Takumi Fujiwara, and Raro all together here. Yeah, and uh, I think yeah, Red Baron, Luke Brax, Ian, they're all together as well. And I want to see if Raro can hold on to the end because the pace that these guys ahead of them has, these are uh, some real fast drivers that we're looking at here. The Takumi gang showing up in force in the chat. Hey guys. Well, your boy is doing real well so far. Oh, and here's a move. JDR takes a position from Rogan and JDR up into P4. Bricklot up ahead, but Bricklot is the last man to not stop. Takumi looking 
to see if he can get a line on his teammate here. Be right back one second. Absolutely. Uh, also, a cast for a moment. So, Takumi's got the DRS range, but we've got a DRS train from fourth all the way back to sixth. Rauru is starting to fall off of the pace of this group. And then up ahead, once again, we have El Susio Dan, who has made a single stop. Uh, he's in a commanding lead right now, but Kenny LaFlair behind has the advantage of a clean race thus far. If he can keep his nose clean and can keep that gap, then Kenny is functionally leading the race here. Uh, Bricklot is a little bit out of position because he hasn't pitted yet, but he is running very, very long on these softs. Rogaine, meanwhile, hasn't fallen off of JDR, and Ian Brax makes a move around Red Baron, going through Curva Grande, coming up to Variante Rogia. Red Baron looking at making a move back to the inside, but he decides against it, and Ian Brax secures himself in ninth. Meanwhile, right behind him, we have PLL, who's looking for a move on Red Baron. Red Baron's a little bit wide through the first Lesmo, and PLL is able to... Is he going to... No, there is no move there. But as they come up towards Seraglio and then the Ascari ahead, there are opportunities abounding for PLL. Here we go. Pace, this is again for 10th position, but Red Baron has the DRS as well. And look, Rax. Three second time penalty. I'm back, by the way. <laughs> back up. <laughs> and PLL, a rocket Just, ship. Absolutely. Just, it's like he has DRS in here. And JDR with the uh, fastest lap time of the session so far, 122.0. Oh, it looks like Takumi has just made a move successfully on Rogaine. Sorry that I didn't have my eyes on that, but the Renault is through on his teammate, and Takumi is now chasing JDR. And now we're really going to see how these two match up against each other. We have no idea. We know that Dan and JDR are very close to each other in pace, but we do not know. Takumi is a wild card here. Takumi goes by Muliro. Cool. Yeah, facts. I see that. I see that Kenny is uh, is getting closer and closer to JD. I mean, uh, excuse me, to Susio uh, Dan. We're so used to saying JD in the lead. Yeah, JD he's usually right P1. Fourth, okay, yeah. past three races, he's been P1. Is that my fault? Ooh, and it's Ian. Awesome. Ooh, big moment for Ian. The fish tailing around this track is just unreal for some drivers. So when Bricklot pits, he looks like he's going to come out around 13th place. So at this point, I'm not entirely sure what the goal is running this far. But he's just got these guys coming up behind him, and he's staying up for yet another lap. Oh, oh my right, God. right, of course, because Bricklot is with a beautiful overtake. Yeah, it's there a, he is. It, he's through. Yep, just a rocket ship on this track. They probably hit what 340k, something like that. I feel very silly for forgetting that. Of course, Bricklot's running long. He's on the medium tires. Oh, is he? <laughs> oh, yeah, he is. Yes, I was thinking. Oh goodness, what's what's with this strategy? And uh, wondering what's the what's the benefit of running mediums for ten laps? And then I saw. So, Takumi, the next one chasing down Bricklot, and this is nice for him. Uh, in his pursuit, he's going to have DRS from Bricklot, probably going to get through. Is he going to have a move before Ascari? I don't think so, but you never know. Bricklot's pace is uh, you know, he's falling off on these no old times. No, no, every every second here. you spend behind Bricklot right now is uh is slowing you down for sure. But so you want to make that. DRS. You want to make that pass? Oh yeah, he's yeah he was slowing. That was some pretty smart move from Takumi. Because I'm pretty sure he slowed down before the DRS detection zone to make sure he he's the one getting the DRS. Yeah, doesn't want to fight him huh? any longer than he has to, and Takumi is up into fourth position behind JDR, but JDR has been able to build up a little bit of a gap, slight lock up there. And yeah, now, so Takumi Rogaine didn't actually get DRS. I so thought he's gonna get. Ooh, Rogaine. Going, uh. 
Goes wide on Pricklop. Ooh, they're right there, side by side. Pricklop watches them through, and Procane squeezes them out as much as he can get away with. That was some, uh, that reminds me of the Cleric and Hamilton. Same thing they're happened. Not, uh, not giving each other an inch here. So I feel that I haven't been giving nearly enough attention to Kenny LaFlair here, so let's wrap up with him for a moment. Ooh, the, a, a bit of a moment. <laughs> on the exit of Ascari, I switched to him at the same time as you said that you're not paying attention to him at all. Because he was within that DRS, he was like, what, 9 tenths? Yeah, it cost him, cost him pretty much half a second, possibly a little bit more as he loses a bit of uh, speed on the subsequent straight. So the whole field is uh, spread out right now. And, and now Ian, it's all above. Ian's just gonna position? time penalty. And if I'm to identify someone who's out of position right now, it's PLL Bricklot, finally going in for his pit stop, and he's going to take these last uh, 10 laps on the soft tires. So the question is, what is he going to do next to Pat Lassard, Prestige, Irma Gert, these people who are on different strategies? Nice stop for him, and he is through as the others come through. And we're going to ride on board with Prestige to see where he comes out. Uh, no, it's not Prestige. It's going to be so where he comes up relative to Pat Lassar. Yeah, so you... Yeah, so you, you said it, like, a few laps before, that's where he's gonna come out. Well, it goes to show that the gaps were really not changing very much relatively when they were all on the mediums. He was on very old mediums at the time, so I think Brick is gonna have a nice charge here. Uh, meanwhile, oh, 100%. We were talking about people is, who are going to be huge. And right now, I think that PLL is very much out of position. Uh, he's got the pace to be higher up right now, so look to him to be bringing some action in the final third of this race. Yeah, but the gap from P7 to P6 is almost 10 seconds. It's indeed a very large gap, but if he can get ahead of Luke Brax, he can just run time trial laps and see what he can do, see if the guys ahead can make some mistakes. Uh, if you can keep your race clean, especially and that's one of the big challenges of any racing game, is keeping your head when things go against you. That so is you very true. That, you know, uh, there, there could still be some very nice points uh, on the cards for PLL, and they would be his first points uh, since, despite his very strong showing in Belgium, he ended up only being able to finish 11th place at Spa Francorchamps. Takumi holding his gap to JDR. He is staying between two and three seconds behind, although it looks like he just had a bit of a moment there and uh, has lost a few tenths. So PLL, right behind Look. Still not close enough, though. Luke Brax looks like he's having a bit of a moment through Variante Rogia, but coming into the Lesmos, let's see what lines they can take through here. Luke's a little bit wide, and PLL coming in behind. Both of them catching the apex. Oh, Takumi picks up a time penalty, and that is going to make it very hard. He both has to get ahead of JDR if he's able to do so, and then also put up a three second gap. Meanwhile, Kenny is almost back within DRS range of El Susio Dan, so let's keep an eye on that. Yeah, he is he is right at a second to El Susio Dan, and Dan has that time penalty. Yeah. I just want to point out that Brick has 100% battery. He hasn't used it at all in this race. He used some right now to overtake uh, Prestige into P12, but uh, on, on the exit of Ascari he had 100% of DRS. And PL makes, it makes a move oh, into turn 1. And Kenny, I'm gonna go on board with Kenny because he is. I'm pretty sure he has that DRS now. Oh, never mind. Not yet. That is gonna be their luck. He's only seven tenths off of El Susio Dan, and he has really been showing himself to have the pace advantage on him at this point in the race. Yeah, and uh, I think El Susio Dan knows it because he is starting to burn ERS to try to get out of that gap. Yeah, he does not want Kenny to be able to just ride in and save his ERS and stay within DRS range because you can just save up, save up. Oh, Ooh, there's a yellow flag and in we got two, and it's Brick. Of course, India. Yep, that's Brick. 
spun out. Uh, that is unfortunate, but I think he can still make some make some aggressive moves here. He can still chase down Pat. He's still got these fast tires. Yeah, so uh, looking at the uh, gap uh, from Kenny to JD, that hasn't changed uh, a bit. It's still 8 point something seconds. But Kenny is oh, hunting down on Susio Dan right now. It looks like Luke actually makes an overtake. Or no, that's PLL that's again. That's PLL making the move. Oh, and Brick has retired and Brick from, retires the session. from the session. What's happened? Did he just mm, retire? He, uh, I think he just yeah, retired after he spun. Oh, uh, that's unfortunate. That could like bring out a there. safety car. Because the car is stopped right before Parabolica. Well, Kenny no, and Dan are going to be the first two to see that. Meanwhile, Pat Lassard hits the pits. Also, yeah, so uh, Kenny is going to get that DRS again. Takumi is starting to close the gap to JDR again. Uh, he's got it back under three seconds, and he's starting to pull in. We'll see if he can keep that consistency going, but he's going to need to both pass him and get enough of a gap to negate his time penalty. So Piano should make the move here. He's very close. Okay. Uh, doesn't really have ERS, but he has DRS. And of the two R's S, this is the one. Goes to on have the inside. Immediately. Goes on the inside. Ooh, and moves over to the racing line. They didn't. They fortunately didn't make any contact, so that's good. And back Red to Baron Kenny. Hitting again. Red Baron going for a two-stop, it seems. We got Sector 2, and it's one of the uh, Renaults. Is it Rogain? That's Takumi. Oh no, it's Takumi who's off, and he loses the position to Rogain. It looks like uh, the front wing is still intact, so that's good. And but Raro is right, right behind him right now. I'm gonna well, swap see. over to Kenny. And I'm going to keep an eye on Raro. I just want to see if he gets the DRS here or not. Oh, it's close. And he doesn't. I'm back with Raro. Alright, we're gonna see if Takumi can hold him off or if Raro can now... Oh, he doesn't have the best line through uh, the Parabolica. He still gets that DRS though. So that's gonna bring him closer. Taking a tight line here. He's gonna close him, but I don't think this is going to be enough. Takumi is now going to be thinking, okay. Got to hold off Raro, and I've got my teammate Rogaine up ahead. Of course, just teammates as of this race, and he was literally placed into the Renault about 30 seconds before the start of the race, so... Uh, you know, there's not going to be much teamwork between these teammates, I suspect. So the, uh, the two closest drivers here. Oh, and Kenny. No, Kenny, no. Kenny got a three, three second time penalty. Well, that the track suddenly, limits. Well, honestly, that really straightens things out here because previously Kenny just had to follow him. Now, if Kenny wants this win, if he wants to win on this first race, he is going to have to make an overtake happen. He can't just follow. The time for, you know, just uh, just winning passively is over. He's getting really, really close to Osusio Dan. I'm gonna go back with Raro because he's gonna get a run on Takumi here. He is indeed, and he's closer this lap than he was last time. But look at his ERS. His ERS is completely spent, but so is Takumi's. He's gonna make a move up the inside. Is he gonna have a look? Takumi locks up a little bit, and Raro does not make the desperate lunge, and Takumi holds the position. That's gonna lose him some time for sure. Because he took a tighter line than Takumi. Meanwhile, Takumi has closed back with to within a second of her game. Just keep in mind that Takumi has a penalty. That he does, that he does. And Kenny 
is three tens behind Osu Sudan, and we might see an overtake happen right now. After Parabolica. Let's see, Osu Sudan has what? 50%. Also, JDR has picked up a time penalty as well, so now Rogan is the only person in the top five who does not have a penalty. Rogan and Raro. In the top five. Oh, top five, okay, my bad. I think I heard top ten. So, top can you? Here we go, here's the run. With DRS. He's gonna make a move. Dan makes a dodge to the right, to the left, I should say. And up the inside, side by side. And over breaks him. Up. But he can makes the other take. Well, Dan. Oh my God. Oh, I, it looks like he let yeah. him through. Yeah. He he yep. must have must have known that that was uh, not a not a clean pass, so he needed to let it through. And El Susi then holds onto the lead, and this is now. Oh goodness! And Takumi. And as that was happening. Takumi makes a DRS pass. Nothing too fancy. Just a straight up DRS pass down the start finish straight on Monza. The cracks picks up yep. a. Uh, so we've time got. There. We've got what? Three laps left. Looks like it. Let's see if Kenny May can make it stick. He is out of the DRS now. Yeah, he, he lost a lot of time there letting El Susio Dan back through. Very respectful thing to do though. He knew uh, he pushed him, gave back the position. Yeah, that was, uh, That's that was how it good, should be. clean, considerate racing and we applaud that. Meanwhile, so the only Robert. battle is for P4 and uh, P1 at the, at the moment. Certainly is, yeah. JDR looking very comfortable in third place here. Uh, Kenny LaFlair, really a standout result here. And Takumi uh, having a really interesting race here. He needs to pull away from Rogaine, but Rogaine is staying close. And if he can stay close and stay clean, he's got fourth place. And Takumi is going to be demoted two positions all the way back to P6. Here we go, Rogan with a bit of a run here. Not gonna they send it. Oh, Ooh, gets really, really close. Certainly a lot of trust in each other's breaking points there. And Bravo getting a front row seat to this uh, to this Reno Reno battle, and it is a it is a tight fight. So Takumi, Rogan, and Raro once again coming through as this tight train here. Oh, and Raro just gets a... Yeah, not the best exit. Moment of excitement, to be sure, but he's still yeah. holding close. <laughs> and critically, Takumi has pulled a second ahead of Rogan. So that actually helps Raro. His Rogan is going to be without the DRS now. Here we go. Raro might be might be close enough here to make the uh, the overtake, and we got Pat in the pits again for some reason. Ooh, but he goes in deep. Wide line, wide line. He is using that overtake as much as he can. And I think he's extended. close enough. Actually, yeah, I think he's got. But that that Mercedes though. Uh, well, he was ghosted nonetheless. And here they go. And Rogaine holds it. And pushes oh, off. Oh, pushes Raro a little bit wide there. And that's going to be very hard for Raro to catch up just in two laps now. But critically, all this fighting is good news for all you Takumi fans out there. Because Can he's he? now... Within... He's, he's getting really close. And I think last... I think Asusio then made some mistakes. The gap was two seconds. And now it's only four tenths. So we might see an overtake here, an overtake attempt, I shall say. And yeah, keep an keep an eye. Uh, Takumi right now, two point six seconds ahead of Rogan. He needs three seconds to be clear with the penalty to take fourth place. Here we go. So Takumi is gonna 60%. get really, really close. But El Susio then has just the same amount of ERS. He's getting in close, but Dan is sitting really tight on the inside here. There's a little switch back, Kenny. Can he do it? Oh, that's the question, isn't it? There's only going to be... Oh, goodness. I think there's only two more good overtaking opportunities ahead for them here. 
Uh, I would say there is actually only one, and well, that's going that's gonna be into a into a scar in that DRS zone here. Well, we could also see something really interesting into Parabolica, but I agree that's not a good overtaking opportunity, and already the chance into Rogia has passed. This possible, but. You would have to be. You would have to get a perfect exit out of the Ascari, and uh, considering that he's gonna have all of dirty air coming from Osusio Dan, it's gonna be hard to uh, get a good exit. Well, let's see what he can do. Your ass is on. Coming into the final corner here at Corva Parabolica. El Susio Dan leading Kenny LaFlair in his very first race here. Now taking the lines, he's he's only three and a half tenths off, but there's not going to be enough space. They're coming up, the checkered yeah. flag is waving. And El Susio Dan takes his first win uh, since the Canadian Grand Prix. Kenny LaFlair and P2 and JD are coming through comfortably in P3 after a spin at the very beginning of the race. Takumi Fujiwara, meanwhile, has not built up enough of a gap to Rogain to get his penalty pass. So Brokane is going to take P4 and Takumi, uh, Muliro, Muliro, am I saying that right? Uh, is fifth I don't know, place. Sure. So Rara doesn't take that P5 because no. Rogan, you know, pushed him out wide. And PLL. Is Gets he going to drop to P8? No, he doesn't. Keeps it. P8, look back. P9, Ian. And Irma Gert is coming through here. Uh, he's fought throughout the race, and he has uh, come through and uh, ends this race. I think he can be quite pleased with, uh, with a 10th place, uh, which equals his best result of the season at Australia. That was a good race. That was a good race, Cub. I wish JD was in that top 3 pack fighting with them, but you know, it, it, it just see. happens. It sometimes just happens. Well, it's a race to be impressed by the new guys. Oh, definitely. Kenny, I think driver of the day. Absolutely, yeah. I was very, very impressed by him. And you know what? None of us predicted this podium. All of us were like, yeah, he's looking reasonably fast. But he just came in here. He had a real challenge for the lead. And if he hadn't picked up that penalty, he would have won. Uh, El Susi Dan was simply not able to shake him. But hey, let's not take anything away from Dan here. He ran a really nice race. Uh, he had the pace throughout, he looked strong in qualifying, he looked strong in the race, that's how you want to win. Yeah, it was a, a solid race by by both of them. And uh, I would say even a more solid race from JD, really good recovery into P3. But I think Kenny, Kenny has the pace on both of them. Yeah. Asus Yadan is, you know, close with JD. And now we've got Kenny, and Kenny was fighting with Alcicio then, so I think Kenny might shake up a few things here if I he uh, continues to race so. with us. Yeah, if he's here, then suddenly we're saying goodbye to, and I have to point out this stat, uh, first and second place have been absolutely monopolized by JDR and <laughs> uh, In every race where both of them were involved, they have been first and second. There's been no race up until this one where both of them were in the race and both of them were not first and second. So big, big shout outs to Kenny for shattering that streak. C -c -c combo breaker, Kenny. Nice job. Yeah, also to point out, he uh, com uh, comparing Kenny to Alcicio and then and JD, out of three of them, Kenny had the fastest lap. Absolutely, yeah. His race pace was absolutely there and it's sort of funny, he, he he ran so anonymously because he ran so well. We kept on yeah. focusing on all the places where the battling was happening. But he was just holding on to that position, playing it very patiently, playing it very, very intelligently. And a uh, big salute to, you know, everyone involved in this race. Uh, that was very, very fun to cast with you, Cub. Uh, you know, amazing race. I think there's no, nothing much more to say about this. And uh, I hope uh, Kenny can keep this pace and just, you know, get in that top three and uh, possibly fight for a win next race. 
And yeah, and honestly, like Takumi is out there too. Like we we have just got an introduction of a couple of new people who we will see fighting for these podiums in the coming races. So I'm really looking forward to seeing it uh, coming up. We've got races in Singapore, Japan, USA, Mexico, and then we're going to Brazil for a season finale, which is uh, where the season finale honestly ought to be. I agree. That's the that Brazil is uh, a phenomenal track. Absolutely. Brings yes. good racing for sure. Yeah, it, it is it is a fun track. And we're not just saying this because there is a big crowd of Brazilians in the chat. <laughs> Shout out guys. <laughs> Alright, let's finish this off, Chaos. Alright. Well, uh it's been it's been a fun race and this is in the championship. This has seen Bruno uh close in on JDR. So JDR's lead has uh been reduced. Um Let's see, doing the math on my head, that's going to be to 16 points because it was uh, 25 points for Bruno without fastest lap and 15 points for JDR for third place. So um, they've gone from 26 to 16 points away. So if Bruno beats them twice or if JDR has one bad race, uh, Bruno could very well be back in the lead. And by Bruno, sorry, I'm saying Bruno uh, El Susio Dan. Susio Dan. Yeah. both names. All right, good race. Thank you for uh, having me for commentating with me, Chaos. And thank you I very much for running the stream and commentating with me, Cub. It's a, it was a pleasure. All for right. everybody watching, we'll, uh, we'll see you Wednesday for Diff 1 race. Same track, same time, just different drivers. Thank you guys for watching, uh, and uh, good night. Good night to you all. Oh, that was a